Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. London, London, London. This is Coogan Cassius for I Film London. We're in Upminster here at the Fighters Inc. headquarters. With me, I've got UFC Hall of Famer and a pioneer of MMA and UFC, um, Hoist Gracie. Welcome to England, sir. Thank you. Do you know... Cold, cold, cold England. It's very cold today. It wasn't yesterday. The sun was out. All the birds were out. It was a good day yesterday. I, that, man, I saw a different... It was too cold for me. It wasn't that, it, where I was standing, it was, like I said, all the birds were singing, all the sun, you know, the sun was out, the sky was out. Sky, man, I look up, man, there was gray, cold, about to rain. Man, depressing, man. Are you sure you weren't in Brazil? <laughs> no, that... <laughs> Are you sure you weren't mistaken? Because it was a good day here, it depends on what part of the country you were in, I suppose. Man, you guys have one day summer over here. It's unbelievable. <laughs> That's the best day of the year, it's summer. Well, <laughs> do you know what, uh, Hoist, when you walked in today, you, you were introduced to uh, some various other people, and I heard you say, I, I'm not going to remember everyone's name, but I guarantee you by the end of this interview, you'll remember my name. Am I going to have to choke you out? No, 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 no. L listen, listen, we'll get into that in a minute. I've got a few moves of my own that you can talk to me about. But um, listen, welcome to England, first of I'm all. i choke him out. <laughs> Listen, I've got my own moves, trust me. <laughs> trust me, Hoist, I've got my own moves. Like, you know, I might not look like I'm, you know, anything, but I've got some moves. Breakdancing moves? No, no, I've got some fighting moves. Like moonwalk style stuff? I'm gonna show you, you're gonna be surprised, trust me, <laughs> trust me. Listen, let's, let's, let's talk about um, your seminars that you do here. Um, Hoist, do you wanna tell us a little bit about that? You know, what can people expect by coming to these seminars? <clears throat> Every time, I try to change, do something different. Of course, there's still a lot of review, a lot of some a new stuff, but a lot of reviewing, make sure that everybody's on the right track and the right technique. So that's the main thing. If I came to these seminars, would I have to pay? You? Yeah. If you let me choke you out, you have to pay. All right, I'm going to consider that. <laughs> Oh, Hoist, I'm but I'm going to stop when I want to, not when you want to. No, but you can't. You, I'm, you going to, I'm going to enjoy that. Listen, in England, we say that's taking liberties. That means that it's an unfair advantage if I let you choke me. So I'm a taker. It's all right. All right. Well, we'll see about that at the end. <laughs> Hoist, I'm a big boxing fan, and there's always the continual debate about where UFC and MMA is in reference to boxing. So if you had to, between one and 10, if you had to say for popularity wise, wise around the world, where UFC and MMA were, was and where boxing was, what would you say? I think UFC is bigger than boxing right now. It's uh, they're not just still growing, but they're getting bigger. So if you had to say between one and ten, what would you say, where would you say UFC was in, as in popularity? Ten. And where would you say boxing was? Right now? Mm. Oof, not very high at all, man. Not very high at all. Really? really? There's some people in England that would disagree with you. Hey, it's a free country. You have your own opinion. I know, you think you're going to choke me like that. That's an opinion as well, isn't it, Hoist? <laughs> Yes, yesterday you thought it was a great day. For me, it was a great day. For you, it was a great day. For me, it was a great day. So it's close enough. Hey. <laughs> um, oh, I've got to talk about a little bit about Joe Long, because otherwise he'll choke me by the end of it. Um, Joe Long once, to me, described you as the Pele of the MMA world. What do you say about that? The Pele, as in regards to football, you, the Pele of the MMA world. What do you say about that? Do you guys know what football is? I know what football is. You guys invented it, but you can't play, but it's all right. It's a different story. Let's talk about the, the Pele. That's my father. My father is the man. I'm just a product of his work. I've heard you say before that you discourage people to fight and that people need to have a real reason to want to fight um, other than money. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? 
or a lot of guys are trying to get in the ring to get a fast pay and to get, no, it's not going to happen. Unless if you really like it, if you're a martial artist and you want to train and you want to dedicate your life to that, go ahead, do it. But if you just want to try out just once to come in and or try to get a fast pay day show up on t because I'm going to be on TV one time, eh, no, it's not for you. So money should just be a bonus at the end of it? shouldn't fight because it's, I want to get paid. You should fight because you like it, because you're a martial artist. Um, I also heard that you wouldn't mind breaking into movies. Is this true? And uh, what sort of role would you fit? Would you want a stereotypical role of a fighter or maybe a romantic comedy? Good guy, bad guy. Good guy, bad guy. That would be Why am I the bad guy? You look like a bad guy, man. I look like a bad guy, but never judge a book by its cover. Oh, I do judge. <laughs> I judge. <laughs> you look like a bad guy. You look like the guy that needs to get choked out on the end of the movie. And I look like the guy that will be able to choke somebody out in the end of the movie. <laughs> what, what, would be your, what, no, seriously, what would be your perfect role and who would you like to star alongside? If you could pick any film to be in and any actor to play alongside, who would it be? Doesn't matter, man. No? Doesn't matter. <laughs> because you've you've trained a lot of fighters, um, actors as well, haven't you? Like Chuck Norris and Nicolas Cage and Jim Carrey. What was that like? There's no such a thing as a good student or bad student. There's good teachers and bad teachers. Since I consider myself a good teacher, they all learn very well. Now, I mean, you, you invented the Brazilian jiu-jitsu, uh, the Gracie jiu-jitsu. Um, I'm developing my own style of fighting, um, Sri Lankan wrestling. Um, would you like me to show you a move? Nah. Are you, are you frightened? <laughs> I could show you a move that I've been working on, Hoyce. I didn't invent the great jiu-jitsu. My father did. But it's your family. It's the same thing. If you know, my, what, what my father, yeah. Your father, oh, no, listen, I know you give <laughs> immense credit to your father and you say that you've continuing the legacy and, you know, but you're part of that as well, so. I'm a product of his work to prove it that his work, that his techniques work. Is there any chance that me and you could be related? There could be, I could have some Gracie blood in me. Is this a possibility? There's a lot of possibilities on that. Yep. Yeah? Hey, Gracie name came from Scotland. Really? Not I'm not Scottish, but you know. Not too far from here. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. How do you know we're not fourth, fifth cousins? We probably are. We look a little bit alike. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Um, do you want to talk? I'm a better looking cousin. Sorry, man. <laughs> you're the older, better looking cousin. <laughs> what are you? Good cousin. What are you? Fifty-seven? No, you're forty-six, aren't you? You're forty-six. Forty-six. Does he want to get your out now? No, how, how old are you? What? How old are you? Forty-four. Forty-five. Forty-five, man. Forty-five. Oh, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. Um, well, I need to know why are you not at the Seni 2012? Can you tell our viewers, our disappointed viewers, why you're not going to be there this year? You have been there previously. Why not this year? Because you're not letting me choke you out. If you would have let me choke you out, if he, it's his fault, if he'd let me choke him out, I would have been there. But since he no, I refuse. I'm no, no, do you know what? This new style of martial art. Uh, Sri Lankan wrestling. Sri Lanka? No, Sri Lankan oh. wrestling. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> listen, you say whatever now. In 10 years' time. I pronounce that, man. Sorry. Man. <laughs> listen, listen, Hoist. In 10 years' time, in 10 years' time, when it takes over UFC, my style, you'll say, oh, you know what? I met this mad guy once, and he was telling me about this. Damn, I should have listened. <laughs> Seriously, seriously. No. Um, the the Senny is a, is a brilliant event every year, isn't it? I mean, tell us a little bit about what fans can expect from the Senny this year. Man, it's uh, one of the biggest gathering of martial artists, people, products. They have the tournaments, different styles, demonstrations, classes. So it's one of the biggest in the world. And you're not going to be there, so it could be even better, really, if you were there. Make me feel bad now. I'm going to definitely choke you out. Huh? 
You left I'm already feeling you, bad. Because Joe wants to choke me out. Now, this is going to run downhill, man. I'm going to choke you out. Well, I'll tell you what. What we'll do after this interview, we'll flip a coin. Heads, you choke me out. Tails, you choke Joe out. How about that? Hmm. Okay, fine. Yeah? <laughs> and, and if the coin lands on the floor, me and Joe just beat the hell out of you, man. No. <laughs> um, with your how do you call it shit Lanka? Sh Sri Lankan wrestling okay <laughs> come on you can say it no man forget it man <laughs> Hoy, listen man we could talk yeah, the guy's picking on me no, I'm not picking on you man listen I'm not a UFC hall of famer man I'm just like you know I'm just a man in the street with a, with a microphone homeless I am homeless. Can I live with you in Rio? Yeah. I don't live in Rio, but you can go to Rio. <laughs> live in Rio. It's okay. <laughs> you can go, man. You can go anywhere you want, man. <laughs> All right. Do you, do you follow boxing now, Hoist? Do you follow boxing now? Is there any boxers that particularly catch your eye? Man, I like to watch Pacquiao. I like to watch him. The guy's unbelievable. Do you think that Pacquiao and Mayweather will ever happen? I hope so. That would be a good fight to watch. So the equivalent would be maybe when you fought Ken Shamrock? Nah, bigger than that. That one would be bigger. That one, that one would be bigger. You and Shamrock really bigger than that? That's pretty big. No, Pacquiao is bigger. Me and you would be even bigger than everyone, you know, if we fought. Look at your size, man, of course. You, fought, you used to fight people what? <laughs> What's the biggest guy you've ever fought? I fought Aki Bono, man, six foot eight, 490 pounds. That's a lot of stones. It's like twice me. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, listen. 190 pounds. <laughs> it's a house, man, walking. <laughs> that's, that's one big dude. Um, Hoist, listen, thank you very much for talking to iFilm London. Um, can we get you to follow us on Twitter? I know you're, you're on Twitter, aren't you? Verified account on Twitter. Yes, I am. At Real Hoist. You tell them. At... They're coming for you. That was you. I called them earlier. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna. You know. I think we gotta go. <laughs> Where's the back door, Joe? I gotta get out of here. <laughs> no, I'm the at real horse, and I'm gonna follow you, so I know your steps, so I know your moves. Okay. I don't know if I should be worried. Right. <coughs> this is Kogan Cassius uh, here in Upminster in Essex with, like I said, UFC legend. Uh, Royce. Can I call you Royce? That sounds better to me. That's, you can call me, but that's not my real name, and I'm going to get upset, and I'm going to oh. definitely choke you out. All right, we'll start again. This is Kogan Cassius with Royce Crazy here at, at, at the head, at Fighters Inc. headquarters. He's putting me off. I'm not usually this nervous, to be honest. I'm a little bit nervous today because this man's now, now he's rubbing my leg. What's going on? When I choke you out, you'll be in peace, man. You'll be looking for Tinkerbell, man. You'll be like... It didn't move, it didn't even move, it didn't even move, it's a legend, it didn't even move. <laughs> right, thank you very much for cutting this out. Cook and Cassius, Hoist Gracie here for iFilm London. Just say hello to iFilm London because you've got viewers, man. iFilm London, don't cut it yet. I'm going to choke him out. Watch this. <laughs> thank you very much. And yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's not going to hurt, man. Right, just, what, tap listen, my arm. just tap on my arm with your I don't, I don't, what? I don't know why I've agreed with you to do this. Lean forward a little bit, man. Lean forward a little bit. There you go. Uh, All right, come on, man. Let me hold. Come no, on. man, you're going to kill me. No, I'm not. No. Come on, man. Uh, come on, no. Uh, God. Help! 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 <laughs> hey, listen, it's my go now. Listen, it's my go now. You, listen, you had your turn. What's this? Sri Lankan death grip. Watch. Shut that grip, nothing, man. You can <laughs> chew like a death grip. You wanna, you wanna go? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him down, Joe. Watch this. No. He's going no. down, Joe. Watch no. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Listen, I told you you wouldn't forget me. So, listen, I'm gonna check you out next time. I'm now I'm gonna go see a psychiatrist. I gotta forget him now. Oh, man, you just like my jaw, man. I got a fight tomorrow, innit? You do? Yeah, no, I'll be on your party, man. <laughs> don't look like a fight. Look at my hands, man. Feel that stuff my hands. Don't look like a fight. I don't want to feel your hands. <laughs>
Hey, we're gonna go. Man. I gotta get out of here. Thank you very much. So, just com comical, you know. <laughs> yeah. When you're ready, you roll with it, or and, and, and you, 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 you need to be a semi. There's no other show in the in the world that matters. I'm Hoist Gracie. And Joe is already giving me a hard time for the last three days that I'm not gonna be able to make it to Sandy this year. I'm really upset that I'm gonna miss this. But if you miss it, don't I know where you live, I'm coming choke you out. I feel blunt, blunt, blunt. I feel blunt, 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 blunt.